Have you heard the news? Researchers finally figured out how to grow hops in Florida. Even though it's known as the Sunshine State, it turns out there aren't enough daylight hours for hops to naturally thrive in Florida. Hops require a very specific environment and day length is very important. So in Florida, day length is not the right day length for growing hops. That's why you know, we couldn't grow hops before. So these plants are two years old and they just got harvested yesterday. There, there's still some left here. So these are the hops. Now we started to work on this crop uh, four years ago, and we had a lot of challenges, but uh, we finally found a way to grow this crop better two years ago. We used supplemental lighting. We installed LED light on the top of the trellis. So now the lights are on from 6 p.m. to midnight, trying to create uh, 16 to 17 hours of day length. Why hops? The United States produce industry is facing tough competition from international farmers. Places like Mexico are able to grow and harvest produce like tomatoes and strawberries at a fraction of the cost. And that leaves United States farmers looking for new crops that can turn a profit. If he can grow hops uh, and uh, provide hops to grow you know, to the local breweries, you know, uh, they might be able to pay premium prices. Florida researchers are still learning how to grow quality hops. In the last two years, they had four harvest of hops, and that's good. In the Pacific Northwest region of the United States, where most hops in the U.S. are produced, growers can only harvest once a year because of cooler temperatures. All right, so is this how you would harvest, like you would pick off of, of in the past, people used to do that, but not now. Now we have the hop harvesting machine that you will see. Oh, there's next. a machine. Yeah, but the people in the past, or, or some, you know, local, if there are people that has a small amount, mm -hmm. they do it manually. In other production area, the climate is not as warm as here, so their growing season is more limited. They can produce only once a year, so their season typically starts in April and then the harvest is can be done by September. So the only time they can harvest hops is between August and October, only one time. But here uh, we can produce hops uh, twice a year. In spring season we can harvest in June, and then in the fall season we can harvest in November to December. We just play some in the dry room this morning. This is the dry room, so they are still fresh. Ooh. It's warm in here. Yeah. This is 150. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is dry. Yeah, you can touch them. Yeah. Oh. You can touch them. They, they just get like paper. Yeah. So this is the process for vacuum seal. So this is the vacuum seal that we have for now. Yeah. So this is more or less the type of the, the bags that we use it. We cut them using the same system. So it's important to have good vacuum seal because we don't want uh, air in a bag because that's going to affect the quality of hops over time. Okay. So this is finally ready to go. And this goes into the freezer. Yes. yes. Okay. This is the hops that we produce in our center. So what do the Florida researchers do after they've sorted, dried, and sealed their hops crop? They share. There are uh, several breweries who have brew beer using our hops. Three Daughters in St. Pete, and Cigar City Brewing Company in Tampa, and uh, Kappa Teo uh, Brewing Company in Tampa. But they don't give them all away. They hold on to a hearty batch to test for quality and figure out how they can improve for the next harvest. So do you drink craft beer? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't drink so much before, mm -hmm. but now, you know, I had to drink because of the project. I like it too. 